You know what the first problem is with this movie? There are now three movies that exist that are all called Shaft. What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and this is my review of the new Samuel Jackson led action comedy Shaft. Shaft was directed by Tim Story and it stars of course Samuel Jackson as John Shaft who this time has a son John Shaft Jr. who is investigating the death of his friend and he looks to his father for help as a private investigator. You know what? It doesn't even matter. The, the plot doesn't matter. The plot of this movie is so dumb. It, it's stupid. It's a stupid, dumb plot. However, this movie's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's not good, but you can find a lot in this movie that you can like, essentially. One of the things that stands out to me is the obvious thing. Samuel L. Jackson, he's so good as John Shaft. I mean, he's so charismatic. Samuel L. Jackson has so many tools that make him a bona fide star in the industry, and he puts them on display here. Unfortunately, the script is really bad, there are some cringy moments, some cringy dialogue here and there throughout the story. And also the other characters, I, don't, I didn't give a crap about any of them. I didn't care for, for his son. I didn't care for the old love interest. I didn't care for the son's love interest. I didn't care for her very much. And so a lot of this movie just becomes filter. It becomes background noise. You know, one of the things that I loved about A Star is Born, the movie. Now, <laughs> these are two different movies, so I'm not comparing them at all in the slightest. But one thing that I loved about A Star is Born is Bradley Cooper's character, Jackson, says this. He says, you need to have a voice. And this movie just doesn't have a voice. There's nothing about this movie at all that screams, this was supposed to be made for this reason. I mean, granted, movies are made for money, you know, for the cash cow, but, but this movie just, to me, felt unnecessary, unneeded. It was almost a film entirely that just could have been told in a 10 minute short film with other actors. Maybe you won't have anybody who's as charismatic as a Samuel L. Jackson in the lead role, but everything around this story is just really dumb. It's really stupid. A lot of things just don't make sense. How John Shaft was apparently a police officer, but yet he can kill all these people. There's no consequences to that. Like he just kind of works as a private investigator and just kills people all the time. Granted, these people aren't good people, but it just doesn't make a lot of sense. And that's the problem. Where I want to find myself in a film is I want to find myself almost grounded in reality at times, where even if the story just feels so convoluted and so stupid, I can still picture myself in that situation. Let's take, for example, Dark Phoenix. Okay, I wasn't a huge fan of Dark Phoenix, but there are moments in that film where there are some real elements to that movie that actually makes sense. As opposed to this movie, it just feels like complete fiction. I mean, there's nothing true in nature in this story. There's no real groundedness in a film. A lot of people love the Fast and Furious franchise. I'm not a huge fan of that franchise because of how ridiculously over the top they go. If you're that type of person who loves you know, movies like this where it's not really grounded in reality, I mean, that's, that's totally fine. But to me, I want more. I want something that feels authentic, it feels real, it has a voice, and it has a reason to be made, and Shaft just doesn't have that. Again, there are some really funny moments in this movie. I think this movie is funnier than Men in Black International that came out this same weekend. Shaft is a lot of Samuel L. Jackson saying the word Mother Fricker. Obviously, I'm filtering myself. Mother Fricker throughout the entire film. And it's fun and it's cool to see that because that's his word, that's his line. But after a while, it just, it, it gets annoying. It gets old pretty fast. And that's kind of how I felt about Shaft. It just, it felt too long for me. And then the whole plot thread of all these different organizations and all these people somehow like working together, selling drugs. And ultimately it, it led in this character's death. Oh, okay. Okay. So anyway, guys, yeah, Shaft is a movie you don't need to see anytime soon, but it is a fun time. If you're looking for a good comedy, something with Samuel L. Jackson in the lead role, then definitely go check out this movie. But I would wait until it's on Redbox or a streaming service like that so you don't spend a lot of money towards going out and buying a ticket and watching this film in the theater. Anyway, guys, what did you think of Shaft? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. 
make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to my channel for more content just like this, guys, because this week I start my Tarantino film marathon. I am so excited. I will be doing a Tarantino series. I will be watching every single Quentin Tarantino film all the way up to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and I'll be doing reviews of all of those individually and a ranking video of all nine Tarantino films. So anyway, guys, if you're interested in something like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm so glad you clicked on this video. Thank you for taking your time out of your day to listen to me. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.